This is a bucket. Dear God. There's more. No. Team Fortress 2 is a game that is very important to me. It has been in my life for over a decade and yet I've barely touched up on it. I usually don't do these video essays or whatnot, these rants, but I felt the need that, you know, I have to speak about it since fixed TF2 and safe TF2 protests are going on. So let me tell you something about TF2. Of course, you probably heard many videos talking about it today and last week and, you know, day before, but I'm not gonna tell you how bad the situation is. You already know that. Bots everywhere. Almost like two thirds of the players are bots and it, it really makes me sad. But, you know, for a game that I've played for over 11 years and I've had some insane memories with, I don't think this is the end and I hope not. And if it is and if Valve actually decides, you know, to let this game flop even though it's beloved by thousands if not hundreds of thousands of players i at least want to talk about it in the beginning my experience with this game was somewhat comedical well depends on who you ask but i've probably heard of this game through gmod machinimas which is one of the weirdest things i think uh and later i found out that it's a game which really made me want to play it because I absolutely liked the art style and that cartoony vibe really felt good. I used to play Battlefield Heroes as well, which sadly met its demise many years ago. And I sincerely hope that TF2 doesn't and I have a very good feeling that it won't. Because just the sheer amount of memes, game modes and videos that this game generated makes me feel like this is such a strong fan base that it would be a really shame to just let it go. Even when I was little, I could appreciate the fact that Meet the Team basically is the peak of character introduction. I mean, in just two minutes, you are able to tell how Engineer would interact with Heavy in a, a random situation. You could make a comic about it, and I think you would still be in character because Valve did such an amazing job portraying these characters as who they are. Not to mention all the sexy words. Like, I haven't heard that name in a while, but you know, I was excited to see what the community could do. And the community didn't ever stop blowing my mind because just a few weeks ago I finally decided to watch MS is Blue and I have no words it's a uh, it, it's really something you have to go watch it I just the fact that something like this even even exists like such a passion project it's 90 something minutes I think with a bunch of references to Kubrick and whatnot but holy hell I mean that says something not even the Minecraft community has something like this you basically can go to a community and not see a TF2 meme somewhere. At some point it became kind of annoying that every meme had to be tf 2 You know, honestly, I don't care. I, I find them really amusing. Not to mention how other communities also prosper with the TF2 characters because Sourceful Maker is a thing that I've spent more than <laughs> enough time in, uh, which later on led me into, you know, actually doing some art on my own. Uh, you should go check that out. <laughs> but uh, no. And I have talked about MS is Blue, but I feel like I should also talk about End of the Line. Like back when it released, I remember the hype about it. 14 minute animation with basically all the characters completely in character, I feel like. And you know, it brought a lot of cosmetic material and whatnot, but just the amount of talent that this video was oozing with was just insane. And especially since it was done in Source Filmmaker because Holy hell, mapping and texturing in, in Sourceful Maker with the fact that you have a limited amount of lights that you can use. Ah, yeah. no, 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 no. I have huge respect for SFM animations, including the ones that are not TF2 related, because as I said, this generation has grown up with software that, you know, was available for everyone to use and just allowed people to be creative with it. And holy hell, does it show. As I said, I nowadays do art and I feel like TF2 had a major role in deciding that I actually want to do this. Even though it wasn't the first inspiration, I think that still belongs to the Fallen Kingdom series. Shorts like Practical Problems, which was made using motion capture software. And I have a feeling that the fact that the community cares so much and you can see just how much the community cares. Even though it's through memes, they still have so much effort put into them and I can't imagine any other community except for maybe FNAF, which somehow has woken up and suddenly has godlike animations. And the fact that it all started with TF2 or Gmod or just SFM, you know, just meddling around with it, just Valve, all in all. I have seen so many good portal animations done in SFM. It still has something to do with TF2 because many communities have used the scout model as a, 
as their protagonist and whatnot. And I'm sorry, I'm rambling. This is really poor script managing because I had very little time. I'm under such a time crunch right now, you know, applying for a job in like two days and whew, it's a lot. But yeah, all I want to say that TF2 has been here ever since my early days of YouTube and I would like to pay respect to it because all the songs that came up to it, all the memes, all Czech videos, because I am Czech and I've seen many, many videos using TF2. And TF2 is really popular in here, by the way. So much so that people decided to even remake Czech ads with it, which I find hilarious. With TF2, it's really hard to tell where to even begin. I mean, the art style, the music. Oh, oh boy, the music. Mike Kwiatkowski really outdid himself on this one. Not to mention how amazing the OST for Portal and whatnot is, but holy hell does this bring me joy. I feel like his music has been used in so many video essays at this point that even if you don't know TF2, you at least know some of his music. Probably not as many as uh, Toby Fox's music, but you know, still a good amount. Once again, what does make the TF2 community so good? Why am I even talking about this? Why should you care? I mean, that's up to you, honestly, but... Why I care is just the amount of content that the community has been able to push out over this decade. Wait, it's almost 15. Okay, over a decade. Holy, oh, I'm old. And, you know, as I said, I can't talk about TF2 as just a game. I should also mention all the game modes that I used to play. Because before Casual came in, I certainly was a community server player. And I usually didn't join the most common servers. Like, yeah, I've spent maybe a few hundred hours on a 2-4 or a high tower server with my best friend. But, you know, we also played some other maps. Like, I can't forget all the death run maps that we used to play. They were so... <laughs> They were so stupid, but I loved every single one because they had so much character and just atmosphere. Not to mention that Construction Yard death run map, which used the OSD from one of my most favorite childhood games. You know, I respect that, you know? And not just death run maps, we also used to play Slender Fortress, which I bet you probably didn't hear in a while or you don't even know about. But younger me was really scared of that. But what scared me the most was the 30 minute loading times because holy hell was that annoying. And then when you finally did load in, uh, the map changed. So, you know, 30 more minutes. But if you had all the maps downloaded, then it took like two minutes. Uh, granted, my PC wasn't the best either. So, you know, but trust me that those 30 minutes when you just stare at the leaderboard, those were some painful 30 minutes. So usually what I did was just join the server and then go outside and then I came back to a downloaded map and then played for 10 minutes and then the map changed and did that a few times before I had all the maps downloaded and you know then you could play but you know that's the that's the limitation of that time. <laughs> I still do have fond memories of those maps though, they were really fun. And then there were the servers that you're probably more familiar with. All the trade maps, all the randomizers, times 10, pyro dodgeball, those were really fun. But I was really bad at them since my internet wasn't the best, so I kind of, you know, air blasted the rocket and then it landed straight in my face because <laughs> I had like 200 ping. Or back when Men vs. Machine came out, the trailer for it, I thought that I'm watching a movie trailer because it's partially shot like that, but also because it was just so well done and Little Nick back then didn't know much about animation and whatnot, but it really stuck with me and I still really like the Man vs. Machine trailer. Like just seeing the red and blue meet up, since I haven't seen this before, like you know, the enemies meeting up together, that's unheard of. And of course, I would be missing a lot of things if I just said that TF2 is a fun game. Like, of course it's fun. Rocket jumping is hella fun. Even sniper dueling in this game is really fun. Just running around with a shotgun, a concept that I previously haven't seen before. Or just the existence of the spy class, which I know is very hated upon, but I still really like this class. You know, there, there's something about being a sneaky little bastard and just then dying instantly because there was a crit rocket. But, you know, it's still hella fun. Like, I remember so many so many situations where I was just 2 HP crawling through the map hoping that no random heavy would kill me. All the MVM rounds that we used to play. Holy hell was it fun. And we always dreamt of getting the Australian uh, until my friend did on his second uh, tour. Uh, he got an Australian scare gun which you know he now has a physical copy of as well and so do I but holy hell. <laughs> I mean I was jealous but then again I wanted something more like the Australian Ubisoft or something. So you know I was happy for him. We played this game for over 10 years and it's it's only fair that he actually got it and it's for his main as well so i couldn't be more happier and if it wasn't for the 64-bit update uh, the green free unusual lime scunts would still be ruining my pc and something that i really have to point out is 
how much the community cares and how even the voice actors care. And it's sad that we have had to depart with Rick May, but Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. And the fans really care, and you can tell, because there were so many projects which just aimed at reanimating videos that they love, which I find really heartwarming. And TF2's popularity was reached far across all the communities. At one point in culture, if a song didn't have a Minecraft or a TF2 animation, let's be honest, was it even a good song? Like, I still have some TF2 remixes and, you know, those weapon thinking songs. But enough of nice things. This is about Valve, and I feel like they're letting a lot of fans down, a lot of people that have played this game. And it's really sad to see. And that is that Valve doesn't seem to care about this beloved game. I mean, I don't blame them. They basically have a money-making machine, and so why should they care about such a, you know, such a tiny insignificant game that uh, thousands if not millions of people care about? You know, millions probably not, but... Oh yeah, millions, billions even. Everyone, everyone knows TF2. Buy merch, buy, buy TF2 merch. Oh yeah. No, but tell me... Is it really that hard to hire two or three people on their budget, which I'm sure isn't very small, you know, considering what profits they make off of... Uh... And it can't be that hard to hire three people. And it isn't even a concept that's strange for Valve, because Valve buys off teams that they find that are gonna make good games and funds them and supports them with their programmers and whatnot. So I can't imagine a situation where people don't care about TF2 and wouldn't like to work on it under Valve. That surely is a thing. I hope, at least. And even if, because some of you are very cynical about this, even if this protest amounts to nothing, I still enjoyed this whole month of TF2 content on the internet and thank you to every single content creator, big, small or just starting with their rant about TF2. Even if you just made your channel about ranting about how much you like or dislike TF2, uh, thank you. I really care about all of those opinions, even though some of us, <laughs> some of them are wrong and I don't agree with, but I still respect that, that you feel the need to voice them. So thank you. And thank you for listening to my rant. And Valve, please, please don't let us, don't let us suffer for another five years with these spin bots. It's, you know, we can deal with it, but it's, it's kind of annoying. And I think that your game deserves a bit more love than you are giving it currently. So thank you.